everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to a new video today we have a B&M haul and I know how you all like my bargain haul so uh, I got a lot of garden bargains exactly what I went there for because I kind of got into gardening at the moment the house we moved in which I mean is this house uh, if you follow me for a while you know that we moved in last August actually the last day of August last year and we just started to see how our garden is and the previous lady she had a green farm and I'm very thankful because the back garden just looked beautiful there was like so many plants and made me research and I got a new hobby which is gardening and I saw that BM has a lot of sale so I ran to see what they have okay let me show you what I picked up. Uh, I didn't go overboard, or maybe I'll leave you to judge if I did. So first thing that I have here is one of these um, burger griller wood with wooden handle, and this was six pounds. Uh, you can see you can grill six burgers, and it's just so much easier to just turn them. Um, and also this can be used, I guess, for like maybe vegetables or fish um, and I just got this one to make my husband's life easier whenever he has to do a barbecue and they do have quite a few different ones I think they have a long one for the fish as well but this one is for burgers and I guess you can put also chicken wings or anything there's quite quite a lot of space there for any type of meat I got one of these, I already took it out, I gave it to the girls this morning and they were not very impressed. They had it all, Emilia uh, had half of it and this uh, get nutty with a bowl of delicious honey and nut shredded wheat and you can see it's got like nuts and um, oats in it. Um, Emilia didn't like the fact that it went soggy very fast um, and it became porridge after a few minutes. Uh, but they liked it, she had it, so I just got it back. Next, Woo. next thing is this how do you call it? It's called wheat brush and scraper, and it was three pounds. You can see it has metal um, wire in here, and then it's got like this little very pointy scraper. In fact, it has a nice guard, which I probably when you open it. You can't put it back, and it's long as well. I got it for killing the weeds in between the um, slabs and uh, in our back garden front as well. I needed something like this, so I got it. And it's only three pounds, they only had one which was ten pounds. Uh, it was a little bit different, you can change the attachment to stuff, but it's no point. This does the job and has everything that I need. And Next, from the gardening, I got two of these actually. If I can find the other one, um, yeah, two of these little kids' gardening gloves, which are the cutest things I've seen. Uh, 69p discounted from 125, and they're just so cute, like proper gardening gloves. Because whenever I do something in the garden, the girls will put some of the like big gloves and they can't really do anything or uh, help me with those big ones so I got them matching and they are with unicorns and rainbows so it looks super cute I think they had some for boys as well with dinosaurs and I also got myself a pair and it was one pound discounted from one pound fifty every little helps and it's like like this it's cute like this kind of silicone grips on the inside and yeah picked up a new hobby why not then uh, this was a pound it doesn't have a sticker discounted from four and it's these wind spinners it's a pack of three and they're just so cute you can see them here uh, I got one from one below and it's in the garden and it's just so beautiful in front of a playhouse so I thought to get more to put them around and again it's with unicorns 
It's just so adorable. Very, very cute. And it will look so nice in the little garden. We have a little garden close to the playhouse where we planted. We have gooseberries, blackberries, raspberries, um, strawberries. And I planted the salad. And we also have some flowers around. So it's super cute. And I am planning to go and get a plant of tomatoes. I saw it in Aldi. I think it was five pounds for the pot, which is, and it was quite big and had little tomatoes as well. So just to show the girls how tomatoes grow. And maybe next year I'll put some cucumbers as well. Because I grew up and my parents had a very big, big back garden where they, we had all sorts of veggies. Okay, moving on. Next is face planter that I've been eyeing for so long and uh, it was eight pounds and it was discounted to two pounds it's just so beautiful this weaker bicycle and yeah it's just to put a plant inside I think I'm gonna uh, choose like a pot to go in obviously you can't just put soil in here you will destroy it you have to put a pot with some plants i've got some plants already that i bought and i'm gonna put it in our little um, patio in the back and it's just gonna look so cute uh, i don't think it will be a good idea to keep this kind of like basket in the rain because it's not going to last but on the patio we have a roof and it's, we will be protected it's just so cute then Speaking about planters, next. This was 12 pounds and it was discounted down to two. There are three planter baskets in here and it has like this insert inside as well. Obviously, do not put your plant soil directly in here. Just use the plant with a pot, put it here. So when you water the plant, it doesn't destroy the weaker. So it's got this thing to protect. And uh, yeah, this very good size as well and it's so beautiful and this I will use it indoor again or on the patio. This will not go outside because they will get destroyed and I think it gets moldy when it's wet. So it's for indoor and you can also get this plastic thing out and use it as just baskets if you need storage baskets. For two pounds, you can't go wrong also for three of them. Next. I've got this, more basket planters, it was £6 for one, I got two, I had to limit myself to two, there were, first I grabbed four and then I put two back because I thought it would be too much, limit for hours as well, and they were £1, so from six to one pound, so I grabbed two, again for my plants inside, they're just so cute, I love the smell of this basket. Mm. Am I weird? I love the smell of this basket. They're just so cute. The girls were going around with this on their heads, like so. And uh, yeah, very happy with this purchase. Very cheap. They also had a ton of other stuff discounted, but I had to uh, be good and not overload the um, trolley because. Uh, even if stuff are on discount, every pound adds up. So, be mindful of that. And next, uh, I got this um, six pounds. It says it was discounted to two pounds. It's like a little cutlery holder for outdoors when we have someone coming to, and I needed something to bring the cutlery outside and I thought that I can just roll the tissues as well and put it here, the same. So I can use one for knives, forks, spoons if we need spoons and then roll some tissues in here or you can use it for your sauces. Um, it has cutlery in here. My foil was just so cute and it's a great size as well and it will be much easier to just take this, put it on there table outside and everyone can grab what they need and the tissues will not um, go with the wind because uh, we have a great summer here but it sometimes it's very windy and uh, I had to already a few times uh, collect all the tissues that were blown away in the whole garden so I got these 
snacks. Uh, just a dry shampoo. I need the dry shampoo. Batiste is the best dry shampoo that I use. I sometimes get some other uh, brands when this is not available in the shops because I, I refuse to buy this from the supermarket because it's always cheaper in the bargain shops, whether it's BM, Home Bargain, or Poundland. Uh, I have not tried this one before. Brilliant Colorful Fruits. I don't know how it doesn't smell because I don't want to press it now because I'm going to intoxicate myself. But these are the best dry shampoos and if you just put it, it can last for another two days whenever we're washing your hair. Next, uh, I got mega marshmallows. I think this was two pounds. One sec. Two pounds ninety-nine actually. I bought one of these from Home Vargas very long time ago and we finished them there's quite a few in here does it say how many no it just say 600 grams and you can see just how big they are we use sticks and when we have a barbecue we just roast some marshmallows and now we have our garden furniture and the table has like a little fire pit so if we want in the evening to have some roasted marshmallows we want to be some steak roast them and they're just so yummy i know naughty but so yummy we don't really do this s'mores thing like it's proper medical s'mores to put it between the biscuits with chocolates we just roast them and eat them off the stick so i got that then i needed a whisk and we only had a set of two this is two pound fifty for two uh the one that i had it basically disintegrated completely it was very old so one has the silicone coating one is just metal and uh yeah just needed one and this was the only one available so now i've got two next i got this kit kat for my husband and we yeah, are eight wrapped small bars and it says rp or pound i think these were 90p in the bnm i actually got two one is already open and the last this is the last thing now i also got uh soil for potting outside um with some roses and other plants and is outside i didn't want to bring the whole bag inside for the for filming because the BNM that I go to, they also have a big garden section outside, and I found that their soil is the cheapest. So I got like a big 50 liter, I think, one. And the last thing, this is something new we have not seen before, and uh, is House of Fabulosa. How posh! Um, Bramble Harvest Luxury Concentrated Disinfectant. Um, Makes over 20 liters and eliminates all doors, gives 99.9% of .9 bacteria, long lasting freshness. They did have quite a few of these. They had the linen or cotton one, which smelled of soap, and I didn't like it. They had another one that um, I didn't like as well. Basically, smelled it. They had three uh, flavors or scents, and this was the best that I tried and it looks like this it looks so aesthetic and eye pleasing but it smells really nice this one is in bramble harvest oh. it smells i think this will be great for autumn because it smells of dry leaves uh, but i like this kind of clean smells so i got this and i will tell you how much it costs to do these are a little bit more expensive but i thought i'll just pick one up okay so this was two pounds 79 and you get 500 milliliters in here um yeah it's a bit more expensive than the other ones but i just wanted to try and i wanted also to show it to you so yeah this is everything that i got from vnm this time i hope you enjoyed this video let me know as always what was your favorite item and i'll see you in my next one love you love you